number two. Again, it's 1-0 in the favor of one of these guys. Let's just turn the sounds back on, though. And uh, looks like, once again, the teams are borked. So, sadly, well, we can't display the score properly. Keep in mind, it's these guys here in the bottom of the map that are leading the Series 1-0, playing for Team Dead Pixels and representing Team Dead Pixels. In the bottom left corner of the map, we have, starting with the pink Protoss, Patience, and his teammate, his compadre, the light blue Zerg player, True. He never writes for Team Axiom Pro Streamers. It's the Red Terran, Heart. And the blue Protoss crank. Now these two actually had a really good, not just strategy, but game for this map last time. Going for the early expos, going for that economy, uh, and that really cool, mm, I guess, team wall off that went down. Crank's not contributing it to it this time, but again, with those who have not seen Old Country before, this is a, a semi no rush map, as there are rocks blocking, sorry, right here, uh, the only ways to get through the verticals of the map. So you can go horizontal all you want, but you can't spawn horizontal on 2v2s. That's only in 4v4s. So there is this era of safety, but, uh, or era of safety. Hart doesn't go for the CC first, though, neither does Crank with a quick Nexus, but instead, more of a regular build. Yeah. But with Hart trying to wall off the, the expansions, <laughs> eventually he'll get there. This guy's being a team player, this guy's not. <laughs> yeah, who's does that remind you of? Well, Crank, I, I don't know if he's got anything in store for this game. Again, it just seems to be Oracle into Oracle into Oracle into more Oracles, and that's his uh, his game plan. We'll see if that actually works off here. I, I mean, I don't know if this is forced cross only, or if this could be, say, vertical spawns, but Crank's heading to the left side of the map, and I'm, I'm assuming he's assuming it's cross only. Yeah. It looks like the Oracle's going to be proxied right here. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, yeah. So, di <laughs> so dirty. It is pretty dirty. Um, right on top of that Zerg. Queen's not going to be too helpful. She's going to she's gonna help, sure, but not before the Oracle kills a bunch of workers. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Patience and True weren't too greedy about this either. Uh, again, it's them that have to worry about the Reapers. Stuff they're going to actually hit them if they try and do a Nexus first or, you know, triple hatch for pool or something. Really weird. Would you do that? You have to dig over your opponent, or your partner. Yeah, it's... Hmm. It, it's a hard decision to make in a team game, but... I guess the nice thing is, though, even if they were worried about any of, like, Cheese or Reapers or whatever, they are up 1-0 in the final best of three. This isn't mm. a best of five. This is kind of the end of the road. If they can win this game, they win it all. Now, it's worth noting, too, for the prize pool for this tournament, guys, there's $300 in total. There's 200 for first place, which means there's 100 for each player who wins, and there's $100 for second place, so $50 for each player there. So, uh, I mean, you want you want the big bucks, I think is what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. Well, a Reaper was made, but not a lot of Reapers. Uh, looks like the second one's on the way as well. So they're good, good scouting. I will see the Stargate too, that's really nice. Crank might, uh, I don't know if he'll go Phoenix first, but he can quickly get a Phoenix out afterwards. Yeah. Looks like it was agreed that Hart would just eventually wall off his entire entire place. I mean, it is three expansions. They're going to have units to actually attack those rocks. So. I love Crank's minds this, but I just like, yo, carry me. Uh, defense. I got to go. I got to go kill things. Yeah, hurt us. Like, you protect me. I, like, you know, get a bunch of really good units, and then, uh... Oh, you know what's cool? If done correctly, Hart might be able to draw the Queen away from the Mineral Line with the Reapers. Mm, not too far. There's no reason to chase them, because two Reapers can have interest on the Queen. Yeah. Well, either I mean, way, it's, it is, it's, it's, it's initially out of position, so there's yeah. going to be some free kills. But Oracle going oh. for the I don't think that's a bad choice normally, but he saw the oh. Stargate. <laughs> like, he, yeah, he, now it's a bad idea. The Phoenix is always probably expecting him to go for his own Oracle. Not a couple of Phoenixes. Mm. That's going to suck for Crank. He shut down completely. 100% oh, countered. So, that's so terrible. That would have been at least like seven drone kills, I expect. Um, I would have died doing anything else, but that's better than absolutely nothing. Well, uh, small shout out to Gibby311311 for subbing to the channel. Thank you very much for supporting us, guys. Uh, nice. <laughs> Just the Reaper mid-air. That was actually really cool. I don't think it actually had a lift-up animation because it's already, like, hopping in the air. Uh, Crank's going to try and get a couple of Phoenix behind this, hoping that his opponent stopped Phoenix. production. But with the amount of Phoenix play we've seen in 2v2s today, there's no reason to assume that would be the case. Exactly, and Patience has been the guy always going for more than one Stargate of Phoenixes, so pretty bad call there. Um, it's not like well, Viking Wars and TVT, where eventually one person does stop. But unlike mirror matchups, this is a situation where you can get ahead. 
We might actually have some Widowmites pick off enough of the Phoenix to turn this around. That's true. Oh, can that second one go off, please? I think he saw it. I think he saw it, yeah. It's, it's really, it. a, I like, that's really clutch if he did, because SVs would have been covering it. I didn't even uh, see the first one, to be honest, sitting behind the uh, refinery there. Right, exactly. <laughs> Someone made a complaint there on Reddit that it's, uh, it's a bug, it's a glitch, or whatever, it's unfair. It's, it's unfair to see the one defensive location. <laughs> I was just like, ah. uh, You know, because of this crank can now take out the Phoenix, is three on three with more health. Uh, targets down the low one immediately. There's still continued production, but as we see, the Phoenixes tend to snowball pretty quickly, so... This is so dumb! For someone who I thought was going to get countered by doing this, Crank actually does a nice fight there. You can't... you can't do anything else. Like, the... you know, Heart helped Crank, but Patience could help... or... Heart, True could help Patience, there you go. Uh, as well, if things get kind of, um, desperate. I mean, he's the one going to be able to get Fungals, which are... They're pretty good, too. Well, second star get out of patience. He is going to go heavy into the air. Going back to the roots. They're saying, you know what? This won the early uh, series pretty well. Heart. Oh, what? He lives the depot, but there's no wall. Crank is going to be so pissed. Yeah, uh, photo overcharge does go off, so it looks like he will hold on to this. Can he rewall this off, though? Uh, four marines versus this many lings. Yeah, he should be able to fight this. So it looks like Heart's going to give Crank the gold base. That's nice of him. Ooh, wow. Maybe not quite Severe abyss micro. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it warms my heart to see a Terran mess that up, like a pro Terran, you know? Because you're like, I'm not, always, I'm not that bad. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, you always do it yourself, and you're like, wow, a pro gamer will be able to win this easy piece. This is so embarrassing. Uh, and they would if it was like a 2 act situation, but here he doesn't really care. Crank going for the harass, using some of that energy. It gets a little bit risky. He still doesn't know about his opponent going double Stargates to overtake him. Uh, it, oh, actually, he does. I don't know when he scouted that, but he did see the second Stargate. Uh, we got the Fleet Beacon on the way for Anion Pulse Crystals. So in every single way, Patience should be able to win this air fight. Upgrades somewhat irrelevant, but mostly the range bonus on the Phoenix. going to be huge. I really don't like that Crank went for it. Like, you have to depend a lot on Marines catching Phoenixes, which technically, I mean, they, they never really should. Should never happen. You know, yet. maybe but one or I, two, but not, like, I, double pump versus only one Stargate. I kind of feel it's similar to Mutalist Corruptor, though. You've got the Marines to be the point of pivoting for those Phoenix. You know, Patience can't really chase through Marines and Widow Mines to but chase the Phoenix We're down. totally, like, not considering True's feelings here, Rifkin. Yeah, no, who's <laughs> like, True? Like, True is the other partner. Like, Crank... The, the Phoenix battle should happen just with each Phoenix, because Phoenixes are really freaking fast. But Marines, like, they don't have the, uh, you know, the, the surprise attack of, like, burrowed infestors, which True could get if it was that desperate situation, but it's not. Like, I really feel like Crank's just gonna lose the Phoenix. Uh, that war, scan from like, Heart. That was uh, such a big deal. He shows the Fleet Beacon being chronoed out, he shows uh, the Stargates double being chronoed out. Crank yeah. has got an O Like, there's no way to win this Phoenix fight with just regular Phoenix production. Either changing his tech or investing more into the Phoenix. <clears throat> okay. But... Oh. You have to get your own Fleet Beacon, though. That's, yeah. I don't know why he's not investing into that before a third Stargate. Oh, there we go. Oh, well. Oh, well, he's going to have that gold. Um, more gas inclined, but hey, it's still going to be nice. They could start prepping in maybe, like, charge lots. You know, you kind of want to find something that's... Uh compliment the phoenixes but like colossus do but that's obviously a lot of money it it, it kills me to look at hearts uh sim city right now by the way like this is so gross to look at. you mentioned colossus walking through that like excuse that me pardon me actually he can't build any thors thors can't get through this you're right they'd be stuck no matter where they they would pop out though they would just be stuck yeah they wouldn't they'd have to kill like the barracks and the tech the reactor to get out of the main or something but lings running by all over the place so let's hope the depots are up no they are down they're not even fully well off anyways get, like two lings she's what am i there's there's a hole right here like he does, even if he raises the depot it's not a wall off I, it's a maze it's tower defense it's a maze the, marine, the marine spawned <laughs> right there like it would have been perfect <laughs> All right, well, um, we do have T2 finish up here in a moment for Heart. And Bio has always proven to be quite strong. We got Corruptors coming out as well, so I, I guess instead of Muta Corruptor, we got Phoenix Corruptor, a, a weird complementary force. If only the Corruptors had the P ability they have in Legacy of the Void. The P ability? <laughs> this is what I'm going to call it until they change it. I know. It. Like, you, you'd imagine <laughs> she's talking about the hotkey, right? But no, it just looks like they're taking a piss on something when they attack. <laughs> Uh, the bunkers weren't quite done. Uh, uh, some of the SCVs are cool. No big deal. <clears throat> That's what I want the next... Uh, I wanted to bring that up, but uh, stuff happened. But if we do another 2v2, it's going to be Legacy of the Void version. <laughs> Figure out what to do, guys. Get some disruptors. Yeah, Legacy of the Void, uh... 
the free for alls and stuff have been a lot of fun. Uh, no, free for alls are never fun. <laughs> okay, I like them. Crank's no. Phoenix production, though, has skyrocketed. I mean, this was in a situation where it was kind of even Phoenix count. Maybe it goes a little bit better for patience because of Indian Pulse so Crystals. Funny. But now it's 19 versus 7. There's going to be some Corruptors to yeah. guard. But even the Corruptors because are going to have a hard time versus this. There's so many Marines patience. and Little Mines. Patience finally thought he was just going to win the Phoenix battle. Well, like, that never usually too. happens. Oh my god. Pew, 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 <laughs> So many lasers flying all over the place with the Marines. Again, kind of this pivot point. Not wanting to extend, not wanting to overextend, looking for some shots where oh, he I can really get them. I really wish he had gotten fungals. Oh, the bald up Terran army. The I know, with the phoenixes directly on top of them too. There's no limit to how many <laughs> units of fungal growth can hit, but... Uh, okay, now the question is what do we do with the main legs? You can't grab a ton beat them up, you'll be too busy fighting in the sky. It's weird to see Phoenix is actually killing Corruptors, but in this quantity, it kind of makes sense. This is not like three or four shooting. This is 19 Phoenix stacked up. Now, the Bailings are going to roll in. Art is going to try and pre-split for this. If Crank can win the Air War, he will kill the Colossus. He's just going to kill the last couple of Corruptors in Phoenix, and he wins this fight. In fact, That's backing what I was going to say. Wow, he kills the he Colossus He wins the Air so War, quick. he wins the Colossus War, but the army of Heart was oh, wiped God. out. Well, oh, sort of. Almost. Oh, the last 10 Banelings on a Marauder. I was going to say, let's not forget, it's Bio, right? Like, you're rallying across the map, several Marines at a time, 10 coming out at a, at a trip, and Crank and, uh, I, I think Crank and Heart are the better composition, but every time we call this, somebody loses, so I don't know what to say at this point. But Crank's Phoenixes are going quite strong. Again, three produced at a time. That would have might got an okay shot off. He could get the Colossus. He's still going. He's still going Phoenixes. Patience tries to go back into it, but I feel like he's invested too much in Colossus. Oh, the grab! Uh, did, did he splash the air? I have no hat. idea. I've never seen this go down. <laughs> they should splash air if you kill them while lifted. I'm just saying. Maybe um, they still splash ground because acid falls on people. Oh, that's terrifying. Because you know logic. Oh, the Colossus are getting beaten. I mean, even with the soccer yeah. suit, it's not that scary. There's so many Phoenix. No. Yeah, that's that's what was so funny about that fight. Like, if you ever won the air war, which you did, you would win the Colossus War too. Now we can lift up the stalkers as well. These Phoenix are just proven to be the Phoenixes king makers. are really good in mass. Like seriously. Like nerf Phoenixes. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess what do you do if you're if this is the other way around? You have impact or sorry, not impact. Probably heart. Get a couple of Thors out. Yeah. And it changes everything. But what Archons. can these two down here at the bottom? Archons, maybe. Yeah, Archons wouldn't be bad. Yeah, he went Feedbacks. to Colossus because he wasn't expecting to lose the Phoenix War. He was like, man, I had uh, I had Banning Pulse Crystals. He must have stopped by now. I mean, he scanned it. Like, he must have stopped. And that was a big surprise. So without that, they would have had a, a much better composition for sure. Well, Ling run by here to the north of the bunkers here to cover it. The army supply should be able to deal with this. Okay, it's not that many Lings. I just want fungals, man. Like, the fungals aren't right? gonna only help out with the phoenixes, but they're also gonna help out with the banelings tanking to that army. Like, it's, it's one thing for corruptors to lose the phoenix, but if you're getting melted by phoenix with corruptors, you gotta swap it up. Corruptors aren't gonna cut it, and true is tunnel visioning, I feel like, a little too much. More banelings coming out, though, is gonna let him win this ground fight quite nicely. Yeah, yeah, I saw. Heart still doesn't seem like it's big enough supply over here right I almost, now. A little I bit supply block, too. I almost wish Crank would invest in a couple of force fields. Can you imagine a bio army covered by force fields? Bailey's can't connect to that. But of course, all this gas going to Phoenix makes a little bit of sense. Hart trying to deal with this on his own. Spreads like a god. Taking a lot of hits nonetheless. But Crank's army, ah, it's all just Phoenix. He can only contribute so much. Starts lifting up the stalkers. It's like holding some guy like so the other guy can punch him. Like that's what Hart's <laughs> doing. He's the guy punching and Crank's just holding him in place. It looks like competition's gonna win. The Zealots were tanking a lot of those bailing shots as well. Yeah. They've run out of bailings. And uh, <laughs> they're still in a great economy. Nothing has happened on the other side of the map. No, this is uh, this is looking really good. I mean, look at the tie up the series. Again, it's 1 0 in the favor of Team Dead Pixels. Crank and Hart are looking to win this tournament, and they're playing so well in the second game. Uh, it's not over just yet. There's still a lot of stalkers remaining, but these Phoenixes are out of juice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a couple of Graviton couple... beams left, but. Yeah, the new one's coming in here. Yeah. I think uh, with that base going down for true, I mean, again, they got double gold bases. There's a lot of money coming in, but can they spend it fast enough? Patience is floating a thousand minerals. His production is just not where it needs to be for this. The Phoenixes are starting to die out, though. They are dwindling down, down to 13. No longer that, like, crazy 20-something count that Crank almost had before. Mm. Crank, uh, you know, investing in the charge have been really, really nice. He is only reinforcing with Zealots. I almost wonder if it'd be better for Team APS to start consolidating their forces instead of streamlining them oh, across the map so. like this. Or redirect their attack to the base. 
Yeah, they know about all these bases too. They know about the middle base for true. They know that there's uh, the gold base is down. I mean, this this is getting a little bit scary actually, all things considered. Crank is starting to contribute less and less to the game. Mm, yeah. Consolidate, go back to harassing. Uh, I guess the spores are covering most of everywhere, so not so much on that part. Actually, is there a spore caller in the main? Look at those overlords. Mm. Okay, yeah, those could be a free pick and spend. I think, I think these have to be with the army right now. The other thing this is doing, as weird as it is to consider, is it is zoning out detection. So at some point, these wood mines will snowball to the point where I don't know if they. Okay, well, not here, but <laughs> as you say, they might be able to get to that point where there's nothing to see them. They'll just go off on everything, whether it's bailings or whether it's stalkers. Uh, another base is going to go down. These zealots work it out really nicely yeah, for Crane. There you go. Yeah, this is taking on a base that's also consolidating their forces finally. So the Phoenix Count is getting back up there. They're going to have a lot of more energy. Oh, we never get a Twilight Council. You know, 3-3 three, three on this bio is very important right now with these zealots coming in. But the Bailings, he's trying to pick him up. Crank's trying to save him. The Time Warp for the Bailings as well. So good. No force feels necessary. It looks like uh, the bio force will just barely be able to take this on. I don't know. It's, it's not barely that many Marauders die. left. It's mostly Marines. Yeah, the Blink Stalkers are really being heroes right now. Um, they're, they've managed to get up to a nice count, which is, I think, is the most surprising part. God, Graviton Beam is so gross. Phoenixes. Is... Is it is 3-3 three, three versus just 1-1, one, one, so it's kind of We're going to the Ace Smash, boys and girls. Game. The ace, the ace of the Ace. This is the Ace of the Ace.